So this is the Eastern Brown, second most venomous snake in the world. And this technique is pipetting. We normally only really use it with the brown snakes because their venom yields are so small, but we do use it with the tiger snakes um, where we need to get a bit more venom because we just get that little bit more with these, but it is a lot more dangerous for us because our fingers are so close to their mouth. Put things into perspective, if I was to milk a king brown now, I'd probably get 350 milligrams of venom. When I milk this Eastern Brown, I'm probably gonna get anywhere between 10 to 15 milligrams. So, because it's so small, it's really important we get as much as we can. And that, that's actually massive for an Eastern Brown. That's probably 15 milligrams right there. I haven't seen a yield like that from a brown snake for a long time. I'm gonna go over this fang as well. Oh. That amount of venom there would probably kill over 250 adult men easily without even breaking a sweat. Isn't it crazy to think that tiny little bit of liquid there is so dangerous, but we can use it to save human lives. So it's, it's a real catch 22, but how good is a brown snake?